my man, can you give me one hit, bro? There <laughs> 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 so many. It's nigga. <laughs> but it must be crazy, like, when you get to a stadium, there's like 20, 30,000 people, and they're all singing a song, man. Boy, it's crazy. it's crazy. I think that's better than sex, bro. Yo, bro, I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't say that in front of my girlfriend, bro. <laughs> Podcast and chill. Matt G, the ghost lady, and Len Moleko. And uh, what a minute. Welcome to the ladies and gentlemen. We are back. Podcast and chill. And uh, today, the ladies and gentlemen. Is that what you call me these days? Uh, it's, it's a fact, dog. <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> Real talk. <laughs> yeah. Prince KB, what's happening, dog? What's up, man? Hey, I've been wanting to get you on, dog. Wow. Like I'm such a here. I'm such a fan of your music, dog. Thank you so much, man. Thank I'll you. be honest with you, when um uh you came out with better days, I'm like, ah, one hit wonder. Because it was so good. I'm like, how can you make a better song yeah, than yeah. better days? Yeah. You know, and then you just produce hit after hit. Yeah. And I'm like, this guy's fucking amazing. Yeah, yeah. What 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 program are you on? What program do you I'm use? I'm on FL Studio. Yeah. Uh, make sure you have I've just started being uh, one of the the power users uh, on Fruity Loops. Oh, nice. So wha- what that means is that when you open the program, I'm the first African DJ to do that. That's when dope. You, when you open the program, like I'm there amongst your VGs, your David Guetta's on the FL website. So that's pretty dope. I think you're the first to do it, ne? Yeah, the first to do it in, in, in South Africa. How did you get that, bro? Oh uh, man, it's God. You know, our our ways are not the same. Yeah, yeah. I feel like uh, if you are going to, if you, if you wanna be something, you need to do things differently. Mm. No one was looking at that loophole. True. Yeah. So Fruity I, I loop. yeah. If like, <laughs> in fact, people don't like FL Studio. I don't know why. Yeah, I'm on reason. Yeah, you one of them. You one of <laughs> the guys who hate us, but it's fine. <laughs> no, but all the best beats, all the best songs have come from food. Yeah, taking nothing away from reason, though. You guys are, well, the software has done so much for me. You know what I do? I would like rewire mm. and um, take some of the stuff there that I d- can't find on FL Studio. Uh, but I don't use the program. I just go in. To steal some of the stuff, <laughs> 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 and then, you know, uh, it's it's got it's got proper uh, sound output. It's, it's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. But when did your love for music start? Because I know you were. Um, actually, we'll talk about the music later. Yeah. Uh, if you're still playing football, what <laughs> team do you think would, you'd be playing? Are you playing for Pirates, boss? You reckon? Pirates. You, I'm a fan. I don't play for anything else. And uh, what number were you? Uh, I was in the uh, midfield. Mm-hmm. Uh, Distribution, like I've always been a team holder. Mm. You know, I've always, I've always wanted to be a leader in I- anything that I do. So even in, in in soccer games, I was that guy. So you like a number six, like a yeah. Patrick Vieira. Bro, I'm the engine Jeez. of the team. <laughs> so what happened? Why 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 couldn't you pursue um, that? I twisted my kneecap. Mm. You know, um, after that, I tried very hard to come back. I kept on limping. You know, the coach was like, "Yo, bro." Before you break your whole um, knee, I, you don't have a choice but to to sit this one out. Yeah. So the season went by. It was Celtics under under nineteen, and then for some weird reason, I was like, ah, "Why go back? I'm unfit." Yeah, yeah. You know, I'm like, "Nah, let me just carry on with my life." Were well, you playing with some people that are still playing soccer now? Um, uh, there's one one I, I remember. George was our coach. I don't know if you know George Nacherenga. Yeah. He 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 played a big role in developing the Celtics that you see today. Yeah. Um, who's that tall guy? But we were under nineteen, and they were um, the first team. Mm. You understand? So they used to come in and check us out. Uh, but from the from our squad, there's no one in the first team now. Mm. No one, literally no one. All the guys that will be cut. Yeah, I can name them, bro. But it's all no. No, no. Someone to swallow. <laughs> <laughs> Some went to some went to hey, man, uh, a lot of the guys actually after after Bloomfontein Celtic yeah. and it's a, it's always a case of money. I, I don't care what if even if they see this, uh, players were s- somewhat underpaid, mm. you know. And us looking at that, you wouldn't want to be in the first team. Mm. You know what I mean? So um, I feel like NJ got to the young guys and they 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 left. Yeah. And then uh, in internationally, who do you support? Uh, because Cristiano Ronaldo left, now I'm Juventus. Ah, so <laughs> you're Real Madrid, Madrid, yeah. And you're Man United when you was at Man United. Yeah. Uh, bro, I travel with this homie. <laughs> 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 
but everywhere it goes, I'm there. It makes sense why you would prefer. I'm assuming you prefer Ronaldo as opposed to Messi. Yeah, yeah, of course. Because he um, trained and worked hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. To get to yeah. where he is. Yeah. And even with you, like now, I see you as like a strategist. Yeah. In of terms course. of, you saw this loophole. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um, you studied it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're like, God, just give me a chance. Yeah. And I will show them flames. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's why since better days, you've never looked back. Yeah, yeah. No, man, I, I've, I've never looked back. Going back to the Ronaldo uh, sim- similarity is that I I don't know, man. Like, working hard and, and talent, uh, they, they, for me, they don't go together. You know, um, there's a lot of people that work hard with no talent at all. Hmm. You understand what I mean? So if you do have the talent... Uh, get people who work hard for you. Uh, but if you don't have the talent, you don't have a choice but to work hard. Yeah. So I don't, I don't believe I have a talent. I believe I'm, I, I, I can master any skill that I put my mind to. Mm. You understand? My talent was, I was a sportsman. That's my talent. So with music, uh, it's, a, it's a skill that I managed to, to perfect. You mm. know what I mean? Sometimes it's just a skill. It's not a talent. So people confuse these things. How did you perfect it? Uh, you perfect it by sp- by working very hard, and um, what I what I always say to people. So basically, what you're saying is you have no talent. No, 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 no. I don't. Wow. I don't believe music to me is a talent. Wow, that's insane. I don't, I don't, you're so good. I don't, I don't believe that, bro. I don't. I don't believe when I play the piano that I, it's it's a talent. Something that I I was I was having sleepless nights, bro. Like trying to get the keys, the chords, you know, uh, trying to get the music together. And um, with 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 me. It has always been a case of being number one. Uh, you know, the drive. You also need a drive, you know. You can't just work and I woke up this morning and I'm working for nothing. No, I'm, I'm working to be the best, you know. So it, it has always been my drive. I'm, I'm a very hardworking guy, businessman as well, artist. You know, so I, I do a lot. Do you feel you're number one right now? No. Who's number one? Um, there's quite a lot of people that are above me. Not, there's not, th- it's, it's not a one-man thing. It's not uh, a one man show. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 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 it's not really a one man thing, man. Like, there's a lot of people above me that are doing great things Ooh. in South Africa. Prince KB, who, dog? Yo, Please. man, you've got your DJ Maporisa. Shout out to Maporisa. Now, he's on a different um, lane. You don't do pianos. You. But I'm just saying, mm-hmm. uh, artistically, Jay, like there's a lot of people that are doing great things that I feel like I shouldn't say I'm number one. You understand? I don't deserve the number one spot. Just say it. Yeah, In I fact, if there is a number one spot, I don't believe there is. You just keep on going and going and going. I think you know you're number one. You're you just know? being fake humble. No, right bro. I, I don't believe so. I'm panicking right now. I, I'm panicking. What's, <laughs> what next song am I going <laughs> to come up with? You know what I mean? Yeah. You, can't, you can't be comfortable, bro. Like, you can't. Yeah. You Who can't. did you... Um, obviously, a lot of producers were all influenced by Black Coffee. Yeah. Can yeah. I say the same for you? Because um, for me, you like a new school Kent, a new school Cleo, a new school yeah. Clock, you know? Yeah, for me, uh, Black Coffee, no offense to Black Coffee. Um, for me, w- you, you asked me a very specific question. I'm going to try and answer it specifically so. You said production. Mm. A lot of people are inspired by blo- by Black Coffee when it comes to production. Yeah. He doesn't inspire me when it comes to production. I don't feel his his music. Mm. Um, I actually look up to hi- the w- the way he plays mm. as a DJ, as a performer. Mm. He's amazing. That's what I look up to. That w- that's what inspires me. Yeah. Um, his hustle as well as a businessman as well. The things he does for 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 young people. You know, um, wha- whatever he's into, he always puts Africa first. You know, that's that that for me is very inspirational. But coming back to the music, I'm sorry, bro. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't even think about Black Coffee when I'm in studio. Who do you think about? I think about your Heavy K's. I think about Heavy K's is the one guy that actually got me into production. I used to attend his shows and like a fan. Like, <laughs> heavy, you heavy. Like, yeah. I'm telling you, bro. <laughs> You know a show called Makufe, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so Makufe used to book up with AVK. So, like, they would have, like, a, 
a Kalawa Jazmi stage. Stage. And so I'll go there, bro, and listen to those drums. And like, oh, this guy, heavy, you know? Mm. And, and he's got his own sound, bro. He's got his own sound. He's doing his own thing. The time when he released Wena, that mm. song called Wena, uh, that song. And uh, in the. And you're, but in is recent. Mm. I'm talking about the old mm. stuff. Because uh, he was part of Point Five. Point Five. Mm. After he left Point Five, he became a beast. So, so at that time, I was attending his shows, you know, um, trying to to find myself as well mm. as a as a producer uh, and a beat maker, which is two different things. And uh, I don't know if you have time to, to ah, um, hey, Chief, break that go. down. Yeah, break it down for us. Break <laughs> it down, know? man. So, so there's this um, thing that's going on, man, in on social media, and a conversation that needs to be had. Yeah. With 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 producers and beat makers, you know, I, I believe that those are two different people. Mm. You understand? So um, the producer actually does most of the work uh, because he's a finisher. He's the end result. He he makes sure this song is lucrative enough for the market. Um, a beat maker just makes the beat, man. You know, so there's a lot of people that think they are. There are two people, you know, they think I'm a beat maker and I'm a producer and I will make this work. There's so many songs that I hear on radio, so many songs that I hear in the streets that have the potential to be big songs, but they lack production. Hmm. It's just beat making. When you talk about production, you're talking about um, arrangement, arrangements, mastering. M- not mastering. Mastering is engineering. Okay. Uh, production is, is uh, arrangement. Um, Changing of your keys, you know, um, getting into the root of the song, uh, changing some things, they adding some things, composition as well as production, mm. um, uh, recording vocals, directing the vocals. Mm. Um, there's a lot of artists, vocalists that come with a book, uh, like someone would write a whole story, and as a producer. You listen to this and you're like, this is too much for me. Mm. Or this is too much for the market that I'm trying to... If it suits the narrative, I- it should it should make sense to you mm. and your market. So um, you would take out... Okay, for me, when, when we recorded Charlotte um, with, with the Lady Zama, um, she came with a lot of a lot of things to a point where we, we didn't see eye to eye for, for a long time. Be because kidding. Yeah, because I, t- I took out a few a few uh, words, sentences, lyrics, whatever you want to call it, that she wrote on the song. But the song worked. You understand what I mean? So that's what a producer does. They make sure... So you're sure a producer. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I am a beat maker and a producer. Like, uh, most of my songs, I, 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 beat, I beat make and produce at the same time. Mm. Like you can take Google Eight for instance, mm. a song that was out for two years, mm. nothing happened to it, mm. and then I I heard the song I think, when was it? This year? No, mm. no, no, last year. Last year. I heard the song last year in December, and it was just flying around my WhatsApp. Sapta sent it to me, and then I was bored looking for a playlist, you know, for December, mm. and then I bumped into that song. Like how? Sapta, how long has this song been out? No, man, it's been out for two years. It's been pumping. Nothing is happening. And then I, I, I asked them to send me the steps. And then I changed the key. Uh, I added a piano, um, added a few drums, and I added vocals. And then, yeah. So what you're saying is that people in general need to be educated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we think beat making produces the same thing. No, we think it's the same thing. And, and it's, so, it's, so, it's such a serious thing in, in, in the States. I don't know if you know Rihanna's work, mm, mm, the, mm. the song Work. Yeah. Work, 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 work. Eight people wrote that sentence. Yeah. Imagine. Yeah. Like even, even in EDM. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like there's ghost producers that their job is solely you just to produce. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not produce, beat make. Beat make, sorry. Yes. yes. Your job is just to beat make, make. And then the producer will come and make the song lucrative. Mm. I want people to, to, to also understand this is a business, man. Mm. You know, um, you can't just bake, make beats all the time, over and over. You need to feed your kids. You, need to, you are a grown man. Imagine a grown man. Like at the age of fifty, still beat making. Mm. You understand what I mean? So mm. you need a producer. So do you think with help. with with Kabza and Maporisa, uh-huh. Kabza is the beat maker. I I don't know what what I don't know them personally, as in like I've never been to their studio, uh, so I wouldn't I wouldn't know who's the beat maker, who's the producer. But judging from Maporisa's history in the music industry, he looks like a dope um, um, producer. Mm. You know, with with all the work he has done, mm. like he's produced his catalog is crazy. yeah, his catalog is crazy, bro. And 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 taking nothing away from the people think when you say you produce a song, now you sidelining the beat maker. 
Mm. No, no. Taking no, nothing away from the beat maker. As a producer, you fall under production and the beat maker falls under beat making. That's mm. it. No, no one is taking anyone's shine. The only problem is, though, uh, as a producer, you'll be the one, you know, in the forefront because yeah, you present this, this song. You're the one making the money because people you book the producer, not the beat maker. You know what I mean? But the beat makers must also have a fee. Like, beat makers must be paid for this thing, bro. Like, it's, it's not fair, you know, for you to be a face of a song. And now the, the person that was creating the song is now... What, do you, what are you doing to change that? Um, there's, there's ways to do it. Um, Samro actually is head in this thing. Okay. Um, they, on the composition um, forms, uh, you have lyrics, you've got music. And then they would ask you, are you sure you are the... Well, that's where you need to be honest. Mm. Are you sure you're the only one that produced and made the song? Mm. And then you'll say yes. Mm. Then all the monies will go to you. Mm. But if you're honest about your work and you take the producers, the beat makers to the, to the composition and credit them and stuff like that, that's when you'll be fine. You know, I'm trying to put myself in a beat maker's shoes. Yeah. Here I am, came up with the idea. Yeah, yeah Sharp, you're going to come and fine tune it, make it better, make it commercial, yeah, make sure. it make business sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, like a producer would mm -hmm. do. But at the same time, I might feel like you're riding off my back. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? I might mm -hmm. feel like you're making money off my idea. Because mm -hmm. if you're such a dope producer, why didn't you make that beat? Um, that's what I'm saying. Like, if you're a dope producer, you're dope at producing. If you're a dope beat maker, you're dope at beat making. So now, <clears throat> you, need to make, you need to make a choice as a beat maker. If you feel like people are riding you. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. If you feel like people are riding you, you need to make a choice. Do I want to be the forefront a forefront artist? Do I mm. want to be the face of the song or mm. do I want to stay in the back? Mm. If you want to be the face of the song, get someone to help you produce there. Mm. And then you take right it forward. With it, yeah. There's also uh, behind the scenes producers. Mm. Yeah. As much as there's behind the scenes beat makers, there's behind the scenes producers. Yeah. Um, I've produced... Um, what have I produced that I I produced um, something on Donald's album yeah. that came out I think in 2016 yeah. I didn't come out and say I did this, yeah. you understand what I mean I did that and then he he you know led everything it's the same thing with my putty, so he did my name is y you know what and I mean he was the and face. he didn't mm. you know he didn't say no you are outshining me <laughs> I wanna <laughs> you understand what I mean yeah. so, so so also beat makers must must learn to to do that to know their position mm. uh, and uh, financially so yeah yeah let's talk about uh, better days my favorite yeah. song I think that's my favorite song <laughs> and I love that shit yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yes yes Yes, that's way. Crazy. Please tell me, how did that song come about, bro? Uh, Better Days was produced at a back room. Uh, I was playing at a tavern in Small Street in Bloemfontein. There's a street called Small Street. Where I started Can I have some water there, bro? Where, where I started my career. Um, so so with, with, with Small Street in Bloemfontein, uh, when you play at a certain place, mm. <laughs> it's like you're supposed to play there like forever yeah, yeah you know yeah, what yeah. i mean pay so, your juice yeah, yeah yeah so 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 with that like i played at club kitchen for the longest time bro and after after djing learning how to dj it became boring for me mm. like what's next now remember i don't think i've, I've got i'm talented i think I, I'm, I'm a hard worker like yeah. yeah yeah i was like no what's next now and then music production came to mind. I was like, oh, cool. I borrowed a laptop from my friend, kept on going and going and going. After two, three years, I, I got the hang of it mm. and I produced better days uh, like when I was still sleeping at the back office of mm. of the, the place where I was I Yeah, was, I saw that picture you, you once posted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's where I produced better days. That's where I produced Wajelwa. Mm. Uh, beat made and produced. You know, um, I brought a mic from a guy in he I forgot the guy's name man and we went to his place recorded the song and again at the time I was already a producer because the the lady Audrey that that's on the song mm. also she came with a lot of lyrics bro mm. it's like no 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 I don't need this I I need something very subtle because I mean when I listen to a song the first thing I listen to is the beats Mm. And I, I've, I always want the beat to dominate. Mm. You understand what I mean? That's why Better Days has got like 
lyrics there at the end. Mm. You know what I mean? So I want be the the music to to to, to be shine the, to the, be the star. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean. So I've always been that guy. So, and we recorded that song, and we didn't have a plan for it. Mm. None whatsoever. We are in the free state. We don't know what we're doing. You know, when I say we, I'm saying me, my my girl. I used to date at the time. Yeah, the one you're staying with. Yeah, the one I was staying with. You know, so. She also was like, I, Mona, you've been in this thing for a long time <laughs> now. <laughs> I, why she reached you? expiry date. Yeah, I know. <laughs> why don't you go and, and, and do something? Go be a policeman or some <laughs> shit. You know what I mean? So, yeah. yeah so, I entered ones and twos. Mm. And then everything took off from there. So, the song was big because of one and twos? Um, the, I got the platform to push it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, the ones and twos gave me an opportunity to push the song. You were pushing and that song on ones and twos. Yeah, yeah, I was playing the song all the time. <laughs> <laughs> it was crazy, bro. And and funny enough, like I think I was at the at the right place at the right time. Mm, mm, yeah, mm. Uh, because I didn't do anything extraordinary. I just went on ones and twos, and I played the song. Mm. And it was crazy. It was over. Okay, and then after that, I think was it "Don't Give Up" the DJ Ganyani remix? Yeah, after not, that, not "Don't uh, Talk to Me." Talk to me. Sorry, I did yeah. "Talk to Me" the remix. Yes. Yeah, and with that as well, I didn't say I did "Talk to Me." Ganyani was in the front of the remix, mm -hmm. even when the remix won Remix of the Year. Mm. It was Ganyani's award. You produced beat made that one. Uh, produced and beat made made, made it. And, and when it goes, do 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 that does. Yeah, so. So it's one of those things I've never claimed it, mm. never. Mm. Yeah, and then so you hit up Kanyani, or he was like, no, he 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 hit me up and said, um, Kanyani is one of the best uh, people that I know that has got an ear for music. Mm. You know what I mean? And he said to me, Yo, I don't think this song is doing what I want it to do. Is it? Yeah, yeah. Please just do a remix. He actually said I must do a remix. You know the story is so funny because he actually said I must do a remix of a song called Ntoni. Mm. Tony or something mm. on his album. I was like, no, I want the big one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I was like, I want the big one. Give me. I, he said, are you sure? I'm not yes. Yeah. And then he sent it to me, and then I did the, the remix. It went crazy. Oh. It knocked off the original of the chart. Yeah, it did. Yeah. Which is hard to do. Yeah, which is very hard to do, man. When you when you, yo, it's a risk when you like remix a remix a, a big song. Okay. And it, so yeah, now it's a risk. Now I'm like, ah, Prince KB is done. It's over. <laughs> <laughs> Wajel, <laughs> Wajel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, it was it was great those days. That's man. still at the back room. Yeah, still. So well, so well. The the songs were recorded in the same month, uh, but I didn't feel Wajel was was. Um, I don't know what I felt at the time, but I felt better days as a more mm. um, solid song. Mm. So I, I I forgot about Wajel at the time. Mm. This is too wretched, mm. you know, for what I want to portray. Mm. You know, I've I've always seen myself as a very musical... Yeah, 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 uh, yeah, yeah. ...individual, yeah. you know what and I mean? And you pride yourself in there. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, no matter if it makes sense or not, I always want to be musical. Mm. Uh, Wajello for me at the time, nah. And then one guy, one guy heard it. Yo. I was like, bro, well, what the hell? Just instrumental. Just the instrumental. Mm. I was like, what the hell? Release this thing, Mona. And I, at the time, I was working on my album because I was, it was after ones and twos mm. when, when people were going crazy and I was working on my first debut album. Mm. Yo, bro. And then I put that song and then I, we chose it as, as a second single. Mm. It was gone. It actually took the album to, to its gold status. When, when did the vocals come in? Um, the vocals were before. Mm. Yeah, the original. That's why I'm. That's why I said it, it was a bit too wretched. Yeah, right? yeah, it is. BBM Wajela, <laughs> Facebook <laughs> Wajela. Like, what the? <laughs> <laughs> it makes no sense. You know what I mean? So at the time, I was like, no, 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 no. This doesn't represent who I am. And then we came up with the guitar mix and. Oof. Give me the next hit, Charlotte. Is it Charlotte? Yeah, it's Charlotte. After okay. after better days. How I mean, did after Wajela. How did Charlotte come? Around? Are you at Universal now? Yeah, now I was at Universal. Uh, I've got a JV with my label. My label is is called Low Key Records. Mm. I've got a JV with Universal, and uh, that's when we dropped. Oh, but wait, wait, wait. what happened with you and Audrey? Because apparently you guys had a beef. Yeah, like, what it's, happened? it's a lyric thing. Remember, I took out the lyrics. So she was unhappy. She was unhappy. No, it's it's a it's a personal uh, writer's thing. You know, they they feel that the producer, when you in mingle with the words and whatever, yeah. 
some sort of disrespect. I do understand that. Yeah. But let's look at the bigger picture. What the we song is successful. S- exactly what I mean. But it's a uh, you're entitled, man, like mm. to your own. But you paid um, uh, and, 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 and everything. Yeah, no, 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 no. I don't play that game, bro. I don't play that game of of not paying people. Like I've got like an orphanage of fifty eight <laughs> kids, bro. <laughs> like yeah, yeah. I give away money all the time. Mm. So for you, for me, not to give you a sense of. Remember, royalties are not a lot of money. People yeah, think yeah. royalties are a lot of money. No, 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 no. It's no, not. The money's in the gigs. Yeah, the money's in the gigs, bro. Mm. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. You <laughs> know this. You know this. The money. That's in why the, the beat maker gets <laughs> <laughs> fucked over. <laughs> Cause you ain't getting no gigs, nigga. <laughs> no, bro. And the, also the endorsements are. are yeah. Crazy. Oh yeah. That's yeah. upper level. Yeah, that's upper level. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Charlotte. So you hit yeah. up Lady Zamar. Yeah, I hit up Lady Zamar. We were in Durban at the time. I was very well. I'm still very close with Tira. Tira is one of the guys that welcomed me, you know, with warm hands into the industry. Mm. Um, I went to Af. I was always at Afro mm. after Wajella. Always, always, you know. And I liked him, and I, I you know, he had a different energy about mm. him. Mm. You know, uh, and he's so a hard worker like yourself. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's a hard worker. So, what happened? Okay, uh, Zama didn't know Tira. And Zama was working on um, Love is Blind. Mm-hmm. But Love is Blind wasn't out at the time. So she played me Love is Blind. Emana, okay, what's going on? Emana, this, this is a strong song. Mm-hmm. But there's something else <sighs> that I want you on. <laughs> you know, and then, and then I went away to Bloom. I was in Bloom at the time, from Durban, from Afro, mm-hmm. um, in the car. I uh, he, she played me some beats and I played her Charlotte. Mm. She was hooked. She got an amazing, amazing uh, vocalist. Zama is super talented. Mm. For me, she's in the top five, mm. you know, in South Africa, songwriting and singing. Who is the top five? Okay, I'll get back to that. <laughs> 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 you wanna put me on the spot? <laughs> <laughs> so driving to Bloom, um, played her some beat. I played her Charlotte. We got home my bedroom studio and she recorded in like 15 minutes wow Charlotte. but she but she recorded a lot and she wrote a lot this is where our differences came you know this is where we clash of we creativity to, yeah, yeah yeah we mm. couldn't see eye to eye and i released the song as is she was a bit you know she was quiet about it she didn't confront me mm. i could hear it around mm. what is Amaya is not happy mm. you know what i mean so uh, but the proof is in the pudding yeah, I do understand that we've made a huge hit. Um, I also understand where she's coming from. Okay. As an artist, you understand what I mean? Uh, it's not something I should do, but let's look at what it's done for us. Ah. You know, look at your career, look at my career. Yeah. You understand what I mean? Who is Ed, Charlotte, by the way? And, um, no, Charlotte is, a, is, a, is, a, is an insecurity. Like, it's not a, a real person. Ah. Yeah. So, for instance, I don't know how to explain this Charlotte story. For instance, when, when your girl calls, I mean, your, your girl ke- gets a call mm. and you, she doesn't answer it in yeah. front of you. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, you be feeling insecure. That's a Charlotte scenario. Mm. You're thinking someone else. It could, that person could be gay, could be lesbian, <laughs> could be you know a pastor, could be anyone. Yeah. So we gave that character uh, a name. name. Yeah. Mm. So the name is Charlotte. But you guys are cool now. Yeah, we're cool. Me and Zama are cool. We worked on a song with Afro Brothers, um, titled "Own the Night." Mm. Uh, the song is out. Zama is cool, man. We're shooting the video very soon of the same song. Mm. So Zam- me and Zama are cool. Okay, after that, I'm like, I know he's done. He's out of hits. Young Kinto. Young Kinto. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I don't, I don't believe it's a, it's a big song. Mm. You know, it, it was just one of those songs. Mm. You know, it's a great song. You, you did it's that by yourself. Yeah, okay. it's a great song. And then we had Banomoy. We had Banomoy. Yeah, yeah. Okay. No, that? that was Club Controller before Banomoy. Oh, yes, Club Controller. Club Controller. Club Controller. Same scenario. Um, the the boys came to me. Uh, Who are the boys? Uh, La Soulmates and La Soul. TNS. And TNS. So they came to me and like, yo, uh, we've got a beat. Da da do 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 mm, do. Mm, da da. Mm. I this song is dry, man. Ish. Beat makers. Yeah, I'm like this song is a bit dry for me. Send me the steps. Let me see what I can do. Mm. Called Zander. Zander recorded the vocals. I added some strings. Uh, some drums to make it fuller, mm. you know. Uh, if you listen to the instrumental and the and the vocal version, mm. you hear the, the, the difference. difference. Yeah. So 
we, we I sent that out to my A and R team. They approved it, and then we released the song Prince KB featuring um, TNS, TNS, La Soulmates, and Zanda. Yeah, yeah. So 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 we it wasn't it wasn't gonna be a Prince KB featuring Zanda song. The yeah, makers must be credited as yeah. well. Yeah, so that's what we did with the song and. So at that out. point, where does the beef start then? Because doesn't TNS and La Soul know they're beat makers or that's not, they're not privy of that? My beef with, with TNS, mm. no, my beef with TNS started after Bano Moya. Mm. The, the club controller scenario wasn't a problem. Mm. Um, so so how does it get into Shimza's hands? Because I interviewed Shimza and he mm-hmm. said that he just had the beat from Tira, but he didn't know who it was. Yeah, so so you know you know these things where where a song is like from WhatsApp, mm. like audio, yeah, audio, yes, whatever, whatever. Yeah, that it doesn't WhatsApp, have a name. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so I heard Dira play the song. I was at a show with with Udira. So, is he playing the La Sultaness one or your the one with your drums? No, no, no. He, he's now he's now playing one with with my, with my drums. With your drums, yes. Okay. Um, but the but the the instrumental version. Yeah, yeah. Without yeah. the without without, without Zan. Yeah. That time I was still busy with the song cooking. So so we would like you know beat making was you are beat making yeah, by yeah. yourself. You are a producer. Yeah. You'd send something out, yeah. comes back tomorrow. You feel some type of way. Mm. You change, change. it, mm. and then yeah, you as you progress, the song changes so many times. And it's all via WhatsApp. You're right. You know what I mm. mean. Mm. So I would send it to TNS, send it to the soulmates. Hey guys, what do you think? No, Rotman has. Ukraine. Sometimes they will come to the house, mm. and then we would listen to it, change it, and then finally we have a product. Mm. So at the time when we were still exchanging the song, I don't know between TNS or La Soulmates so, because La Soulmates is two people: is Volca and Ador. Mm. Between Volca and Ador, the song fell out somewhere. Gets to Tira. Got, gets to Tira, and then I'm like, Mokoy. <laughs> 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 I'm at a show, I'm like, hey, ma-. like, it's like someone took your hard drive. You know that <laughs> feeling? <laughs> I know. This guy, yeah. does this guy hack me or something? Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm like, Makoy, mm. where do you take this song? Mm. He's like, no, I got the song. Look, I even checked on the on the CDJ thingy. I'm like, this song doesn't even have a, a name. name. Mm. I'm like, Makoy, this is my song. Mm. He's like, nah, 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 nah. Mm. So that's where... That now you you become an idiot. You it's like you are claiming. Yeah, you know what I mean. Because because they didn't get the song from you. Yeah. So now I don't know if Tira gave it first to Shimza or yeah. To Shimza went to Tira is like, hey, Makoya, I need fire, fire. Yeah. It's like there's this song. It's causing havoc. Okay. Gives it to him without a title. Oh yeah, without a title. Yeah. So I see this thing trending on Twitter, and I'm like, and I and I text uh, Ushimza, mm. but I I I, re- I tweet him, mm. yo, this is my song. And then PH gets in on it. <laughs> nah. <laughs> PH is like, no, I'm going to give the song uh, a name. <laughs> so they're literally sidelining me. Mm. You understand what I mean? Yeah. I'm like, no problem. Yeah. I don't need this kind of negative shit in my life. Let me record this thing and then put out the song. Mm. Eventually, people will know because, you know, the, the, the paper trails are there. Yeah. You know, my, 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 my hand is in the song, mm. whether you like it or not. Mm. Even if you don't like me as an indi- individual, mm. but mm. I'm in that song, bro. Mm. Fact. Uh, fact, you know what I mean? So the song the song then became huge and Shimza I don't know if he didn't like what was going on, you know, and then Why did you block him though? The the beef started. Uh because because he didn't wanna acknowledge you know in the industry you have got peers, right? Mm. So uh, I recognize your work, mm. you recognize my work. Mm. You don't recognize my work and then look the other way. I feel like that's a bit of a disrespect. Mm. Like if you if you can hear or I tell you this is my work, yeah, and then you sideline me, yeah. I feel like that's a that's disrespect, you know. Mm. So I decided no, I don't need this dude. Let me just you know mm. amaze and and carry on with my life. Yeah, yeah. Mm. And then did you guys end up resolving the whole situation? Yeah, yeah. he he went on Twitter and tagged me. I'm not a Twitter person. I don't lie. There's so many beefs on Twitter, bro. <laughs> no, man, not every day. I'm not there all the time, you know. Yeah. Um, and I, I saw that message late. I think I saw that two days later. Mm. And then I, 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 I told him, yo, you texted the wrong number. <laughs> you know, I've changed numbers. And then, yeah, we're cool now. All right. Banamoy. Yeah.
Hey, my man, can you give me one hit, bro? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> There's so many. It's nigga. <laughs> But it must be crazy, like, when you get to a stadium, there's like 20, 30,000 people, and they're all singing a song, man. Boy, it's crazy. It's crazy. I think that's better than sex, bro. Yo, bro, I don't know about that. <laughs> 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 I wouldn't say that in front of my girlfriend, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, man, speaking about energy, like, when you get to a stadium, like, wh- how I see it, you get to a, to a venue, 30,000, mm. 40,000 people, you give them energy and then they multiply that energy mm. and give it to you back mm. 30,000 times. So mm. when it hits you, like, I don't know, it's unbelievable. You understand what I mean? God, I've never had a, a hit in my life. <laughs> <laughs> but I can imagine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know? Okay, Banomoy, what happened there? Banomoy came out featuring Busi Iswa. Mm. Um, that song was sent to three, two if not three people. Okay. First. I think I tried to get hold of Pussy. So what do you mean it was sent? Let me let me tell you. Okay. Uh, after the beat was made and by produced. Who? The beat was made by TNS. Okay. Nah. Beat make. Beat make. Sharp. I, so TNS TNS lived in my house okay. for a year. Mm. Whole year. When I met TNS, bro. Ooh. It was I saw myself in him. Mm. You know? I saw myself in him. And he didn't have, have parents, both parents. I don't know if he lied to me or whatever. Mm. But to me, the story he sold was, was that he didn't have parents. Yeah. And um, he's just that guy lingering mm. in the streets. And I was like... Trying to push music. Yeah, trying to push music. You know what I mean? And I'm like, okay, cool. My nigga, come through to the house. Uh, I've got a big enough house. Mm. God has blessed me and <laughs> he didn't bless me for myself. I don't believe he did that for myself. Like mm. he blessed me to to bless others as well, mm. you know. Um he came to the house, he stayed there for a year and um you know, gradually so tried to build him as an artist mm. mentally mm. uh f- to avoid these kind of things. Okay. You understand what I mean? But for some weird reason that didn't work. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because we are here now. Mm. Um <coughs> so he would be in studio like the whole day. I've got, I've got, I've got businesses, you know. I've, 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 I'm fortunate enough to have started businesses and, and do what other businesses things. Businesses are these? Um, I'm, I'm into logistics. Oh. Yeah, you know, and um, I'm into like insurance companies. Fuck, Prince, you, you, know. you're fucking smart, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got insurance, um, uh, an insurance company that I'm, I'm, I'm running with a mate of mine. I've got like properties and stuff like that. So, euphonic in the making. Ah, <laughs> 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 whatever. <laughs>